hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel today let's set up mongodb using docker so and after that we'll try to connect to that mongodb instance we created using a desktop tool called mongodb compass so this will be an valuable tutorial to start with docker and understand its basics so let me start with some of the things that you should know before starting with uh, docker I think it's very essential to know these terms docker images docker containers and the host machines so let's see uh, we know about docker images right we have different docker images for mysql docker images for mongodb that we are going to use in this tutorial so there are different docker images so to run these docker images we should add them to a container so we have to create a container and then we have to add these images inside the container to run them. So that's how we are going to run the Docker images. And next thing is the host machine. So host machine is basically our computer. So here is our computer. And if we are to communicate with these images, we have to communicate with the container. To communicate with these containers, we have to expose ports to our uh, host machine. So for example, we are going to use MongoDB Compass inside our host machine. To communicate with these images, we have to expose the, expose the ports from this conta uh, container to our host machine. So that's, all, that's the way how we are going to communicate with these images. So if you learn something new, make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and put a thumbs up to this video and let's move forward with the uh, docker commands here are the basic commands uh, that we are going to try today so first of all let's get the mongodb image for that let's search what are the available docker images by using docker images command so there are no uh, docker images at the moment so what we have to do is we have to search for the image uh, now of course like i know the name of the uh, docker image that i want to pull but if you want to search just you can give a search like uh, docker search mongodb it will show uh, the available images in the repositories that you can download so there are uh, few available images uh, which is called mongo we have mongo express and so many other uh, custom mongo images as well so what we are going to do is we are going to pull this mongo image so to do that we are going to go with the command uh, docker pull mongo and it will download the latest uh, mongo image so it will take some time for you to download and it's downloaded all right so the mongo image have been downloaded and after that for example we can go with docker create uh, mongo this will create a container using uh, the image mongo so this is a command uh, to use create a container and if we go with the command docker psa it will uh, show uh, the available uh, containers so here is the they have given a name as well but also we can define another name if you want but uh, i'm going to create with uh, i'm going to go with the command uh, uh, docker run so this will create an uh, container uh, with this uh, with this name here I'll give it as container so this will create a container called mongo uh, dash uh, underscore cont and it will go in the detached, uh, detached mode and the detached mode in the sense like if we remove this uh, dash d 
it will run inside this terminal there will be a terminal connected to this container and it will run in the existing terminal so we don't we won't be able to continue our work in this uh, command prompt so for to avoid that reason we are going to go with uh, detached mode here and this is the port binding i mentioned earlier so this will bind uh, the output this 27017 port which is the uh, port of the container to our host machine this is the host machine container so whenever uh, we want to uh, access this uh, 2707 port we have to access our local machines this port so this is mapped to our local machine here and also it will use our image called mongo mongo image to create this uh, container so let's execute this command here and see yeah it's created let's uh, go with docker psa and here we have our new image running new container running so this is the name we give gave for our container and you can see the port binding in here uh, as well so if you want to access uh, our container let's open compass mongodb compass here we have and we can use this port 27023 27023 to connect to this container you can see now we have connected to our mongodb instance which is running using docker so we have a few databases which is pre-configured databases and you know we have this uh, data documents as well in here you know you can add data and do uh, any other manipulations using uh, mongodb compass so that's how we are going to connect to a mongodb instance using uh, our mongodb compass so that's the basic other than that uh, of course we can uh, go with uh, stopping these containers and removing these containers and removing the images so let's uh, follow these commands as well for your uh, understanding uh, first of all let's uh, we want to identify the container ID. this is the container id we have and first of all let's stop the container using the container ids i'm going to copy this container id and i'm going to go with docker stop okay our container has stopped if we go with docker psa we can see the status is exited it's not uh, running at the moment and after that uh, we can have a we can remove this uh, containers as well so we can use docker rm docker rm and we are going to paste the uh, container id this will remove the container and if we go again with psa you can see the container have been removed container has been removed and we will do the same for the uh, next uh, container as well yep and there's no containers running and we'll also remove the image as well for example let's have a look at the available images we have one image called mongo uh, to remove the image let's go with docker rmi and uh, let's go with this one called mongo or else we can go with mongo uh, id as well so docker images there's no any images at the moment so these are the basic steps basic commands that we are 
able we are, we are going to use when using docker and also there's other uh, use cases like where we have to in in this tutorial we created a single container using a single image and there are other user case use cases where we have to use multiple images inside a container and expose multiple ports uh, in the container so in the next tutorial uh, let's have a look on those kind of uh, use cases as well and if you need anything any kind of tutorials in the future just drop a comment and uh, let's work on those uh, tutorials as well so that's it for this guys uh, that's it for this tutorial guys and hope hope you learned something out of it and make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and show some love and let's meet with another tutorial like this have a nice day guys